Man, Luigi, you find like the, the weirdest place to like sleep. I can't control camera, so I can't change it. So now it's awkward and it's ruined. Hey there, guys! I did not mean to backflip. Stop backflipping! <sighs> Welcome back to another episode of Super Luigi Galaxy. I'm Luigi Man's Way 2. How are you guys doing? Last episode, we got started in our crazy adventure, and now we're gonna even go crazier? Even more crazy? Man, I don't know. All I know is this blue one was gonna transform itself to a, a star. A sling star. Whatever. We're going in here. These are the galaxies that can be observed from this dome. The numbers represent their distance from the observatory. The bigger the number, the greater the distance. The more power stars you find, the farther you will be able to travel. Got it. So I guess we'll uncover this one. Which is good at Galaxy. Yes, this is undeniable. We are detecting power star energy patterns in the nearest galaxy. But I must warn you that the evil energy readings are off the charts. Be careful. Got it, Black Luma. To the galaxy! Alright, cool. Let's start this off right with Dino Piranha. And oh boy. We're about to see my skills, because I have not touched this game in years. And by years, I mean, like, how, how, how long has it been? Three? Three years since I last touched this game? Yeah, sure. There's a story behind this, but uh, I'll, maybe I'll explain it. I don't know. It's like, is it really important? Is it really relevant to, like, anything nowadays? I don't know. I'm going to stop at these Octumbas. Octagoombas. Whatever they want to be called in this game. And then do this, and then spin jump, and then we discover the secret. Because I am cheap. So, anyways, um, I don't know, do I bother telling the story? I'll probably tell the story after we do this, because... I screwed that about horribly at, at the end, but yeah, obligatory Mario reference. Give me that one up. I want that additional Luigi. Into the pipe! Right, so, story. Um, see, a long time ago. I don't know how long ago. Can we say three years? Three or four years, I don't know. Like, very early on on my channel, like, it's, it's like so early, I, I can't even explain how early it is. But yeah, we're gonna go for like, yeah, let's 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 shoot for like, yeah, four years ago, three four years ago. A certain guy, you guys may know him. He appeared on my channel a, like a couple of times in a couple of series. Was like, uh, you know, he appeared on my channel. That's all you need to know. Uh, the day tonight, he came to me one day. Was like, hey, I have an idea. We should do something like a versus or something. And I'm like, oh yeah, sure, we could totally do something like that. Come on, cheap it out, cheap it out! Ah, No, I'm not gonna talk to you, because I know I could do this. I know I could do this. Exactly, I don't need you, Luma! Anyways, back to the story. So, like, he came up with the idea of doing a versus. And I was like, yeah, sure, we could do a versus. The only thing is, though, at the time, when he, at the time that he wanted to do it, um... I did not have a capture device. I was actually working on getting one. Don't get stuck, Luigi. What the hell? Anyways, I I was working I was working on getting capture device at the time, so I was only limited to emulators. And he was like, we should do one on uh, Mario Galaxy, because why the hell not, right? So, so I was like, yeah, but I don't have a capture device, and I don't have a lot of time at the moment, and blah blah blah. Yeah. I might be exaggerating a bit because I don't exactly remember conversations well, but that could that's part of it and then like I think it was like around May I think after after I got started or finished completing uh, um, Twilight Princess I think I was the one that brought it up or he did I don't remember but like one of us brought back the ideas like we should do the versus now get out of the way so we did and then we recorded and then we decided um, to do it and to do the versus in a different way so like 
have it be like a Mario versus Luigi type thing because you know obviously in this game you saw you you're watching me play this now but you can play as Luigi in this one by unlocking special requirements oh I also don't remember why this took forever because I never I had to beat the game again as as Mario because I'm not a spare Luigi file but anyways back to the story I'm getting distracted by multiple things I could be talking about this game but I feel like I kind of want to bring this up because it's kind of relevant and kind of reason why I've been holding out on this for like a while now. So like... So like, it was supposed to be like a Mario vs. Luigi thing, like, Day and I will play like Mario, Mario Galaxy and I'll play through Luigi Galaxy, because like, there's not much different between the two, other than Mario and Luigi get over here, I want your star bits. They give me lives and I need a lot of lives, even though I don't think they keep the lives here. So. We did it, we recorded the first three episodes? I think three episodes of the Verses. And then we never touched it again. Because we, because uh, as time went on, both of us really ran out of time. Like, we don't have enough time to do anything really, because I had a job, then he had a job, and then the idea just kind of fell through. I would love to do it again one day. And what's funny is like, I have the first part of the versus edited. Also, we're about to fight a dino piranha. Oh, look at it! It's so menacing! Anyways, um... Like, I already edited the first episode and... I, funny enough, I uploaded it to YouTube. But it's unlisted because and only, um, only those who I shared a link to uh, can see it. Which is only my friends, really. So they kind of saw the first episode. And then, I don't know, I kind of want really to revisit the idea of a versus. But then again, I, I just don't know. Also, this is an incredibly easy boss. Do you realize this? I hope so. This is going to be a constant theme. So, yeah, and what's funny enough, I was originally going to plan to, uh, let's play this game, I think maybe after Twilight Princess? If not after Twilight Princess, then probably after Mario RPG or... Um, whatever was after that. But then I decided against it because, like, I don't want, I don't want to let's play a game when we were thinking about doing a versus and then I get an advantage because I keep practicing seeing my skills in the game. So that's why this series took a little while. I'm not going to save. Just in case stuff goes wrong. But yeah. That's the entire reason why it's, uh, why this series has been, uh, kind of been on hold. Even though I never announced it officially, but that's why I keep putting it off. Like, I meant to do this sooner, but I'm kind of glad I waited because, like, at the time, I did, I had a different, um... He's also, he's teaching us how to use our Star Bits as ammo. We're going to be using that. Sorry for ignoring the text, but I really want to talk about this story because, like... I don't know, it's like the only semi-important thing about this. And, like, a little backstory about, like stuff I've been doing for like the past three years or so. Is it? I, I want to say it's a little more than three years. Maybe two years. I don't remember exactly when. But yeah. So, that's the story. If you don't get it, it's fine. I probably don't get it either. I'm bad at describing things. But basically, I kind of wish the verses would have went on because it's interesting to see how two people will play games differently, because I play games differently. I'm not gonna lie. I play I play this game way differently, because like I learned the secrets of how to do stuff. Also, you see those little rock formations right there? Spin them, star bits. Okay, I don't remember which direction I need to go. I think it's over this way. Maybe? Maybe. Give me those star bits. Give me those star bits. Can I just also say I'm playing this very awkwardly right now because of my current setup. My current setup right now is kind of weirded out because I didn't was not thinking about Wii games at the time. All right, see that one. I, that one makes sense. I, I need help because I can't reach that. That is too far for me. Anyways, let's just get on out of here. All right, let's see, Goomba, I see you, I kick you, and you decide to hide behind that thorny plant. That's fine. I'll spin you again and then destroy you. 
If that's how a Goomba wants to be killed, right? Not stomped out, just spun and stuff. That's morbid. That's morbid as hell. What the hell am I? What am I doing? Ow! Stupid Wiimote! I'm shaking you, damn it! I love this technique, by the way. If you like, if you like, spin and immediately press Z to ground pound, that happens, and it's like a homing attack, and it's so cool. Uh, do I need to destroy those plants? No, I just need to free this guy right here. Launch me away to the stars! Uh, do I want to go on a shortcut? Let's go on a shortcut! Shortcut! More star bits! I think, hold on, is this the one where I need like a hundred star bits? If so, it is, isn't it? Uh, hey you, yeah you, got a taste of star bits? Pay me a bunch of star bits and I'll transform! I need a hundred! Okay, I need to look. So, maybe killing that Goomba was by stomping on it was not a good idea. And maybe I should have stuck around and collected a bit more star bits, cause I think... I could be wrong about this. There is a very limited amount of star bits in this level. Well, I say that and I'm already close to 100, so I could be wrong. But it's like basically saying, no, don't leave any star bits behind. I might have to go travel into another galaxy. For like the, not another galaxy, but to another planet for the rest of this. I might have to, alright. I'll see you later, Luma. So watch me get like a hundred. I'm already a hundred. God di <laughs> Great. Now I gotta find my way back. Hold on. Hold on. I gotta find my way back. I'll be right there, Luma. I'll be there to be like, hey, give me some star bits. Whatever. I need star bits anyway. Don't, don't, don't backflip. It's not that hard. It's not that complex to do a long jump. It's like dodging. It's not that hard. Shouldn't be a subroutine. Ah, uh, Dragon Ball Z Bridge. It's a good series. And also the most quotable thing I have ever done in my life. Seriously, I quote like stuff from that sh show like every time. Don't don't shake into that. Whatever you do, don't shake into that, because I want to go to the Luma. Hi, I got your star bits. Yes, I know you're hungry. Let me feed them to you. Point them at your face. We're gonna feed you, and then you're gonna transform, and by transform, I mean you're gonna explode. Hooray, we did it! We discovered a pineapple planet! I'm pretty sure that hasn't been said before. Alright, cool, we did it. Uh, I guess one thing I should mention about Super Luigi Galaxy, because th this is what it's actually called, um, is that, um, Luigi here plays different from Mario. If you play Mario Galaxy, then you should know, I want to start bits, you should know how he plays, like, he's, like, balanced and stuff. Luigi, he jumps a little higher than Mario, and he also, um, slides when he, whenever he stops running. Which is why I like Luigi better to play in this game, because I could cheap out so many levels with him. If I could even remember, because I have not touched this game in a long time, like I said. And, uh, you know. It's, it's just, it's fun to cheap things out. Even in, in the ways they don't meant to be cheaping out. Whatever, I'm just gonna go down this whole bye, Goomba. Enjoy being a Goomba. Let's see, I th think... Oh, wait. There we go. I don't think that was the intended way, but whatever. Quick, 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 run before you get crushed. That's a thing, Luigi. And, oh, wait, wait. That's actually the end. I made it to the end. Don't slide, Luigi. That's how you get in trouble. Hi, Goombas. How are you? Bye, Goombas. And then the piece of the resistance. Normally, you're supposed to collect these little blue star chips, but you could do this with Mario too, and I love it. Long jump into the star, and you'll be able to reach it. We did it! We did it, we did it, Luisimos, we did it. Blah, 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 blah! Man, I got a high score of five coins? Oh, I'm disappointed. And we discover a new galaxy. Neat. 
Well done, brave explorer! You've discovered a new galaxy. Collecting power stars will expand our range of vision, and perhaps eventually include the enemy base. Cool. I don't want to save my game. Not at the second. Maybe later, but not at the second. Uh, do we have time for one more? Actually, isn't this next one a boss stage? I think this next one was a boss stage. What's this one? Honey Hive. Uh, that's something we'll tackle next. You know what? I think that might be it, because the next one's going to be a long one. So... I'm just going to go crouch in the corner. So if you like what you see here, snap that like button. Really like what you see here? Then sub the subscribe button. You won't regret it. And if you do, blame yourself for listening to me. And I'll see you guys on the next episode of Super Luigi Galaxy. Say bye to say bye to everyone, Luigi. <laughs>